Hi, it's Video Tuesday. Welcome to Great Photography and Video on a Budget. I'm George E. Harrison. So come along with me as I take you on a brief tour show some of the sights and the sounds of one of the oldest street festivals in America from my hometown, Asheville, North Carolina. Tell me about the prize. The prize? Yeah. Good. Good. Wonderful. Very tasty. Not real greasy either. No, they're really good. Crunchy. We need one turkey leg that's been waiting for while. Okay. Two eleven dollar turkey legs. I need two two eleven dollar turkey legs from the same so it's going off. Thank you, baby. I need two more you get to be known as a hat lady? Because I saw all I was making was hats. Well, how'd this come about? I have been making hats for so many years, and everybody said, where's the hat lady? Where's the hat lady? And they've called me that for so many years. That's what I go by now, the hat lady. What is it about photography that inspires you? Um, the ability to capture something in time, like a moment in time, and be able to bring that moment forward into the future and share it with someone who wasn't there to originally witness it. What is chicken on a stick? Chicken on a stick is two pieces of Gam's chicken cooked with a, on a stick for you to enjoy. And how good is it? It is awesome. Did you hear about that, uh, the fat bird in London? Yes. Yeah. Oh, gross. But you know, when you're, we don't want that. You've got to remember how old their sewer systems are, and after all those years of accumulation, it's unbelievable. <laughs> And Jan, tell me about this brew. What do you have in here? Um, I have my rag dolls. And tell me about your rag dolls. They are made out of many fabrics. Mm -hmm. It is a doorstop. You can use it as a doorstop. My husband makes the wood. And I, mm -hmm. I have a story about how the rag doll became a rag doll from the gypsy taking many of her fabrics and putting it into a doll to give her child she has a child and depending on the mothers this is like a, a, a story that is passed on whatever she was wearing she takes it and makes a rag doll and gives it to her child and to the next generation we are selling different flavored lemonades with bursting bubble balls we have strawberry lemonade working lemonade we ran out of our mango and kiwi balls, um, but we also have blueberry. You can mix and match and do whatever you want there. We also have green tea and we have chai with the top of your balls. So what makes your lemonade so special? It's sweet, flavorful, and the balls. It's, the balls are really hard to come across, and they just they give you a burst of flavor when they're in your mouth. You can just suck them through the straw. Very fun to eat. Why is it important we always remember those who serve? Why is it important? That we always remember, yes. Because of the freedom that we have to do what we're doing today. Ball Festival, we just do it openly without having to worry about the aggression or repression, of course, or repercussions. Jackie, what do we have here in the booth today? Okay, so what we have is, I call them fair. They are witchcraft kits for beginners. They are kind of to help you start your own path, so to speak. And you get a candle and some herbs and little prayers. And
and then I also have some dream pillows. Now I'm going to ask you to explain that because as soon as you said witchcraft for beginners, okay. people at home are going to go crazy, so explain <laughs> okay, that. Okay, so it's very spiritual. It's not satanic. We don't believe in Satan. That is a Christian concept. We don't believe, and we're not Satanists. We're, we are very spiritual. We're, we have all these different beliefs that are thrown together, and we believe in like good spirits mm -hmm. and and different the different herbs mean different things and we believe in healing and just being spiritual and have having good karma you know to be kind and to you know celebrate seasons and nature and you know just be overall just spiritual and, and kind you know <laughs> I love it because you can see all the bones of the body. So he's got a head, a body, and a tiny tail. Does he have legs? No. Snakes don't have any legs, huh? How's the prize? Pretty good. Oh, I didn't know she had to stop. Um, I'm Hannah Prince. I run Thorns, Roses, and Puppy Noses. And tell me, what is it about books? Um, I love books. I've always loved books since I was a kid. Um, what we do here is we take old used books that people are going to get rid of or throw in the trash. We take them, give them new life, and we do custom books. And they're really beautiful pieces of work, and you can give them to anybody. The gifts, the possibilities are endless. If you enjoyed this brief tour of one of the oldest street festivals in America. If you're not able to make it this year, we look forward to seeing you next year. And also, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to go down to the right hand corner and the subscribe button. Also, hit the notification button so you can get all my videos on Tuesday and Friday. And also, if you're watching this on Facebook, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Good, bad, or indifferent. And as always, I want to thank you for coming along with me on this photographic journey, and I will see you Friday.